So LSO APIs are, are really the key to interoperability across the whole LSO platform. So they, they allow for cross-domain interactions from the customer to the service provider and interactions from the service provider to its partner domains. And really to enable end-to-end -end service orchestration, we need to have all those different types of interactions east-west uh, in place. Uh, particularly with, with, uh, with partner providers because it really extends the footprint and reach of the service provider into areas where they might ha not have reachability. So they work with the partners to actually provide those different components into the intent service, as well as enabling uh, uh, deployment of virtualized network functions within other partner cloud domains. And it's not just one API, it's a, a set of APIs that are going to make this work. And then after you activate, it's the service assurance. I, I want to see how my network is behaving and I want to you know, use a NAS-like API for my MEF service with my cloud APIs and I want to orchestrate connectivity of my cloud applications across the network and I want to do it dynamically. The main challenge for us to be able to provide services in multiple domain is you know, to have standardized common information models and east-west APIs which can then retrieve information from partner networks to be able to provision services in the end. There is a lot of work being done internally within each service provider's domain, which is also very important because we need to be able to come to a level where we are able to offer APIs uh, to other partners to be able to use it. And then also we need collaborative work, work being done at the MEF, where uh, you know, we can get feedbacks from other partners, um, their contribution, and then test that internally so that we can work uh, into it. In the LSO reference architecture, you've got the uh, service order, there's, there's a, a set of, of functions, and probably the soft function is one of the key ones. So you've got your customer domain, you've got your service provider domain, and then your partner domain. And in the, in the middle of this is this service orchestration functionality. And it's got its north, south, east, and west um, kind of interfaces. So Sonata, for example, is the interface reference point between a service provider and its partner. So if, for example, I as a service provider am trying to give you connectivity on a global scale, uh, I can't reach everywhere in the world, but what I can do is I can work with partners. And I want to be able to turn up services in real time, I want to know the real time operational state of those services, I want to be able to do quoting, I want to be able to do everything via a standardized API, and I want it the same across all of my partners. So the Sonata interface is the key to actually making that happen. So Presto is, is sort of the southbound interface of SOF. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to say, well, okay, I, I want to be able to, to take service requests at the top of me, that's my Legato interface, to, for example, activate a new service. And I'll you know, figure it out and design it according to the topology. But then I've got to go down to my uh, infrastructure control and management layer in my network. I've got to go to my SDN controllers or I've got to go to my various uh, components that, that manage my different domains. And uh, so I'm trying to get standard. We're trying to have that standardized as well. The benefit of that is you, know, you can have multiple different vendors of, of soft components and you have multiple people delivering uh, various network elements because you got different companies doing all of that. And again, if you can standardize it, I don't have to do integration on a pairwise basis between all of those different groups. Agility of the futures um, cannot anymore be bound in a silo, neither a domain nor a vendor. Um, we have to look at it holistically across a community and ecosystems, and we have kind of to open our doors uh, to everybody or, or to the relevant interface to be able to uh, adapt, to integrate, uh, and to seamlessly cooperate with each other. So MEF and uh, ONAP actually have a, a collaboration agreement. It's very exciting right now because we're actually, uh, in that partnership, ONAP is actually building to the, the MEF LSO architecture on these external APIs. So it's like treating ONAP, which is very complex, as a black box. So treating it as a black box means we can expose northbound interfaces to BSSs, OSSs, for things like service management, service ordering, service catalog. But we're also providing east-west interfaces between ONAP of, of one service provider and an orchestration environment of another service provider, the partner provider. So we're providing all that within the, the LSO context. So north-south is, is LSO Legato, interface reference point, and we're building to that. And east-west, we're building to the interlude for service manageability. We would sort of started out our journey with being uh, standards development, right? And now we're sort of going into this new model, which we call the agile mo model, where code and standards are kind of going hand in glove. 
what we do by hacking out here in hackathons and in you know work that goes on throughout the year, we sort of use those learnings to feed it back to the standards committees to see where the goals and gaps are and where that can be fixed. And the same thing with standards, feeding it back to the, the development community to say that these are the things that we need implemented in order to ensure an interoperability. In this hackathon, we are directly enhancing the capabilities of the Presto SDK. We're also building new services inside the service orchestrator, things like uh, the ability to collect telemetry data and do analytics on that. And then we are integrating all of that into the MEF innovation platform as microservices and that's sort of our CI CD platform for our uh, information models from the specs to go all the way and fit into reference implementations that we could test and deploy there. Carriers need to be competitive. We, we not only need to do this north and south within a single carrier, but we need to do this east and west between one or more carriers because the fact is not one carrier uh, owns or has a single customer. It, it typically goes across multiple carriers. And if we want to move to what I would call a Netflix or an Amazon-like customer experience of 30 to 90 seconds of, for an activation of a service, just like you would from, for, for getting a movie, we need to have automation. These APIs and the corresponding software that's being built is going to give up the ability for our customers and networking to have that Amazon or Netflix-like experience and, and get a 30 to 90 second experience instead of 30 to 90 days.